Okay. And Drotch is trying on top hats. So are we just using the microphone even though you said to use the chat? Uh it looks like we're kind Injection of Injection here say. <laughs> overrule. <laughs> no, you can't overrule me. If you try to overrule me, Amber Heard will come visit you. <laughs> Am I reading that right? Shit on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I like my fingers. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm either I'm either getting my hat and my cane, or I already have them, and I'm on my way to the mayor's house. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, the time it takes for you to get a hat and cane and get to the mayor's house will be less, uh, will be shorter than everyone else. So we'll go ahead and knock yours out of the way. I hope so, cause since they're cause the, since they're stealing a fucking statue. I mean, they gotta go, they gotta plan, they gotta blow shit up, they gotta take the statue, or they're printing off papers for swine fest, swine fest, swine fest, swine fest, you fucking swine. Listen here, you little ignorant ass, son of a bitch, lawful good, human ass Guys, having I can't Sam. All I hear is the oinking of a swine. I can't no. say swan. Listen, hey, listen. Hey, it's not going to die want, anymore. Swine food's gone. Swine if you gone. want to keep your little pet alive, swan fest? You might want to keep him out of swan fest. Swan fest. Swan fest. Because you know what's going to happen to him if you don't? Swan fest. Those guys that beat him up last time, they going to have some prison time fun with him. One best. <laughs> Every day is one best. <laughs> You're basically writing down one best, damn. Man, if, if that. <laughs> Did we really? I still see him. You can still see who? No, Zach's still here. You? Yeah, I'm still I here. I lost you. All right, so I'm a, I'm gonna I'm go to the mayor's house after I get my my top hat and my cane. I got him. I see Zach now. I think I lost the other three to the right. Well, the videos are in different order for everyone. Oh, I lost Scram and Milky. <laughs> I was muted again. It's like I, I still have Milky, and I still have that weird looking ass rabbit motherfucking having ass. <laughs> what? Scrim is a okay. rabbit or a bird. I can't tell. This picture looks weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, I see. David. I see Brandon, Scrim, and Milky and Zach's cameras. I see all y'all motherfuckers. Like, literally. I can't even see the map because I can see all y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, man, I see you guys too, but I don't. What? Okay, so, uh,. You're dressed to the nines with your nice hat and uh, your nice top hat and cane. Uh, you and, and I got I'm, my priestly clothes on. Yep, uh, and you arrive at the uh, mayor's manor. Yeah, hey, I can I'm see Charles again. Top of my cane to knock on the door, as one does. <laughs> uh, one of his uh, employees, one of the help, uh, let you in. Uh, as you're a known entity at the house at this point. And uh, the mayor uh, all of a sudden is like, ah, oh, hello, my good friends. Uh, wait, Mr. Friend? Mayor! How's it going? Uh, it goes well. Uh, were you yeah, we, I know we got off to the wrong foot last time. Uh, I blame you for that. But that's okay. We need to have a little chat. How can I help you? Well, it's kind of how you can help me and how I can help you. See, I had a dream the other night. A glorious dream. And I want to make that dream come to fruition. But, in order to do so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need your help and backing. Okay, what sort of a dream do you have that I can help you with? How, how does taking our 
poor city and making it the jewel of the empire sound to you? <laughs> making making it the jewel of this country? Country, empire, same thing. Well, I'd never say no to making our city a better place. Okay, so... First, you're not going to understand this, but... We have acquired a restaurant recently. Uh, and we need some publicity going out for it. So, the first thing I need from you, Mr. Mayor, is I need you and to bring some of your friends to our grand opening, which apparently my brothers have decided is going to be a dance called Swinefest, something like I don't know. They're weird. I want to okay. pizza ass. <laughs> my brother, my brother and your son. You know, the, the, the weird squirrely kid who, honestly, I'm kind of surprised he made it that first day. Uh, I, I'm they, honestly... They decided, they he hasn't died yet? Going to, no, no. Uh, apparently, he he and my brother have become lovers. So, my brother is protecting him. Uh, but interesting. Uh, out of character. What was the name of the cook that we hired? That I hired, I should say. Uh, Fiona. Now, Mr. Mayor, we have gone through a lot of trouble. Uh for this here restaurant. We've even hired Fiona. I understand you, you may be acquainted with her. Oh, uh, yeah, she's a the best chef in town, but refused to leave Mudstown. Much ah, to a lot of our uh, chagrin. She has, she has joined our restaurant on Haggard Hill. Oh. That's fantastic uh, eventually, news. Eventually, we intend to open up more restaurants here around in town and in other villages. Uh, and how we intend to make our fair city better is a couple steps. First, we're going to need a lot of money. And I foresee us getting this more money by the success of this here restaurant. When the other, when citizens of the other towns hear how much we are paying our our employees and how well our employees are treated, they're going to want to come work here. And all the other people here are going to want to be treated just as well. And then you have all these new people coming in, bringing, spending their money here. We also intend to clean up the town. Take over the, not take over, take over is a bad word. Uh, eliminate the feuding criminal factions here in town. Because as I'm sure you're aware, there are criminals here in town. We, we want to unite them in the goal of turning our fair city into the jewel of this here. You called it a country? Yeah, country. Yes, uh, I, I am aware of a few criminal factions there. Let's just say we have an accord as to... Well, you've seen how strong my brothers are. Oh, yes. I... You've seen how they react to things. We, we intend to unite the criminals in town under our rule. Now, what I need from you, Mr. Mayor... Uh-huh is some publicity. I need you and some of your high class friends to come down to Haggard Hill and simply enjoy the food at our restaurant. If people see the mayor and some of the elites of town eating at our fair restaurant, enjoying the entertainments we have, Mm -hmm. then word will spread you guys can help spread the word too and once our reputation grows 
we can then move on to the next phase of the plan. And what would that be? Uh, first, uh, so step one, get your uh, restaurant to be a very successful restaurant. Okay. And uh, get rid of, get and then deal with the criminals. Is step one. Yes, yes. Step one is to unite the criminals under our rule and to, for the success of the restaurant. Step two will be sending out envoys of our restaurant to the other towns. Also, Fiona has agreed to hire on more chefs for our sister restaurants that we're going to be opening up and to train them. So therefore, okay. the level of food in our town that will be available to all citizens shall raise. And we'll send out envoys to the other towns. And again, speak to their common folk. You know, the, the, the people that uh, would normally not have a chance to eat such good foods. Okay, so you know, the people who are willing to do the hard labor. Okay, so br branch out, make your restaurant. We need a word for whenever you have multiple restaurants from the same An owner. enterprise. Yes, a, a franchise. Oh. Ooh, franchise has a nice ring to it. Let's use that. Yes. And with the backing of the mayor, it, it should be fantastic. Now, the other thing that we might need from you today, because the grand opening is not today, uh, we might need another job. You see, we may have brought on uh, another person, and they really like going on adventures. So if you may happen to have a job that might lead one or two or four people out of town for a couple of days, that might be wonderful. Okay. Well. Swat. <laughs> Calm down, you guys. Swamp Fest is coming, eventually. But, uh, stuff coming from... So, you said for a couple days? Yes. Uh, see, I kind of keep this on the down low between me and you. I kind of want Drezik out of town for a couple of days, along with some other people in our group. Because, you see, Drezik, he just gets so excited with the entertainment that we have. He just gets so, so excited. And I don't want to have him accidentally getting overexcited, if you catch my meaning. Ah, yes, I understand. Uh, well, uh... <laughs> I was thinking of having them go out on a mission where they could prove themselves stronger than... Let's say some of those criminals that we were talking about earlier try to raise a reputation amongst the I mean, a reputation amongst the criminals is pretty. Um, well, they don't want to get eaten. If that sounds. And about I would it. like them. I would like for them to remember what happens when we eat them. And no one is better at reminding people what happens when we eat them than my brother Dresic. And now your son, um, the lawyer. Okay, well... He's been eating a lot of man meat. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> you, can, you, can take, you, you, can, you can call it whatever you want. Oh, I mean, uh, is he literally eating human meat, or is he just having... Let's, let's just say he might need a doctor for those knees really soon. 
I mean, he's not my son, so I guess uh, I guess it doesn't matter if I care or not. But uh, I do not I do not care what sort of way he swings. Okay, so uh, there. So uh, let's let me pull out a map so I can show you a couple things. Boop board map. Okay, so. Uh, we have not received any word from the town, uh, uh, from Fail Town, which is over here. Q. Q, Q, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, city's name is, a uh, Fail Town. One uh, second. So we haven't heard any uh, thing from them in several days, which is highly unusual. So it might be worth investigating. How, how, you can hire us to go out there. Simple job like that should only require my brother Dratch, your son, our friend Milky, who's been wanting to go out and capture a dragon, and some of those criminals that you have a accord with can go to uh alternately i guarantee you at least one or two of them will go missing <laughs> uh, yeah but uh, i'm afraid that would cause discord if i do something to intentionally but you're not doing something intentionally they as far as they're aware you're sending them out on a mission with the legendary dresic the fist of desolation uh, so they should they, they should feel safer knowing that he will be there to eat whoever fucks with them and that they could get richer by robbing people so uh, the uh, other thing I have that that's as far I don't know what's going on there so it could be completely nothing so it could be a quite easy quest uh, alternately, I've heard of people and supplies being amassed at a R, which uh, uh, is called the Dragonborn Sanctum. R. Oh. Milky might go for that one more. Uh, if my contact... My contact from uh, the Adventure Guild also has said that there was a red dragonborn that was spotted there with uh, some heavy bruising on his chest. Okay. Not restrained that, or anything. That sounds, sus that sounds suspicious enough to be sus not suspicious. So, uh, both of them, uh, we do have... Uh, the uh, going to investigate a uh, fail uh, is going to be uh, just a simple, uh, 50, simple snatch and grab. Yeah, just a simple fifty gold mission. It's just get out there, take a look at something's gone, and if something has gone wrong, resolve it. And depending on what what wrong we will may increase the pay on that to reflect the yeah. proper level of power uh, for the proper level oh, hey. of sign us up for both bring in some of those criminals you have an accord with and i will talk dresic into it okay so i um i apologize boys i i have to leave all right bye have uh, fun okay we'll we'll do you uh we'll do uh your uh visit of the uh drugs later all right sorry about this guys all right peace later peace so yes, we'll do that. I'll but we'll do both. I'll get Milky and Dresic on on task for it. Milky wants to get to Dragon. And that red dragonborn sounds suspicious. I know Dresic might want to go at it. Uh did you ever read that uh thing that uh Dresic was given? The uh, note did of I? Yeah, ever no. read it? No. 
Bitch, I am a cleric at Tiamat. Reading is for lesser life forms. I, I just wasn't sure if uh, Jurassic had brought it up. Nope. Okay. We, we've only brought up our plans for world domination. Okay. I'm pretty sure Jurassic just immediately forgot. Probably. All right, so I also, again, remind him to hire an, a couple of those criminals that he has an accord with. Uh, how many men do you think you would, uh, additional men do you think you would need? Mm, I'll probably say just a couple. One for Dresdick's dinner and one to spread word. Of the heroics of Dresdick. So, just two? Maybe three. Three. In case Dresdick's feeling really hungry. Okay. And Milky might get hungry too, so. Okay, so I'll try to get between three to five, just so. All right. Well, I tip my top hat to him. Good day, Mr. Mayor. And now I'm going to go looking for Dresic. Oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, yes. Sorry, uh, since you want me to be a financial backer behind your... Oh. I didn't say financial backer. I said just go enjoy the food. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I thought we. Uh, I thought part of it was uh, making. Never mind. Then, uh, uh, the, when, the, the do you know when it's opening? You're gonna have to. The most money you're gonna have to put into this is paying for your food from Fiona, and she sets the prices, not me. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, when are you guys opening? By the way, uh, we never discussed that. I, I when I when I return I shall speak to my uh, head of staff and Fiona and find out when we will be ready, and then I will send word to you. Okay, and I will uh, get a gathering of it, at least a handful of, of the uh, noble and upper class of the city. All right. Yeah, oh, that's what's what's next Saturday. Huh? Uh, nothing. I'm, I'm asking you something. Oh, okay. All right. Well then, with that, I shall be on my way. Uh, he tips his hat to you. And I'm going to go find Dresic and inform him of the plan moving forward and that we will have Swanfest upon his return. Swanfest! That way we can plan Swanfest out properly and get some insurance on the restaurant. Okay. And life insurance on all the employees. <laughs> Just in case if um, a couple of them happen to go missing. The only one I won't take insurance out on is Darla. She can live. I, uh, the rest will be sacrificed to Tiamat. As Dratch finds Drezik, he's shaking his little brother, saying, Hurry up! Take these fires to your school swan busters tonight! You don't even have the flyers yet. Brother, brother, call me out. What flyers? Oh, hey, what's up, Dredge? Swanfest will be upon your return. Oh, where am I going? We have a very important two missions from the mayor for our plan. Oh, you... that guy's a dick. He is, but the plan. You, Milky, uh... Yeah, because I don't know about Scrim yet. Uh, we have received word that there is a town nearby that we have not heard from. So you and a couple of those quote-unquote criminals are going to go there and uh, check it out. Make sure everything's okay there. While you're on your way there, make sure quote-unquote nothing bad happens to the criminals. And then you guys are to... Then you guys are going to be going to the Dragonborn Sanctum because we've been hearing that uh, some cargo has been hit. So I want, I would like for you to go steal the cargo that's been hit. And there's this red Dragonborn there that's uh, got a bruise on his chest who might be that one guy we don't talk about. 
Uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and have uh, Dresic which, roll uh, intelligence with for one as well. You said intelligence with what? Uh, I was going to say with disadvantage, but just roll natural because uh, Drach He's is giving. Dumb. What? Well, Drach, you are giving him extra like information. In a moment of actual clarity. <clears throat> You remembered that, oh yeah, I was got a report about Dragon Horn Sanctum. Oh my god, yeah, I got a report about that dude being there. So, I figured you and Milky might want to go and handle that situation. Voldemort. And while you're doing that, I will be here making sure our restaurant has an excellent first night. And then upon your arrival, we will have Swan Fest planned out perfectly without a hitch. Mm, okay. I suppose you could also take Scar, too. He's kind of been crying about not having a date for Swan Fest. This might give him a chance to find a date. Yeah, I'll try to talk him into it. Oh, we could set him up with that human that's been following us around lately. Oh, you talking about uh, the doctor? Yeah. Scar wants to do some experiments on him. Ooh, I bet you he'd be into that too. <laughs> Probably. Hi, Liz and Charles. So, with that, I'm going to let him know uh, what's going on with the missions, and then I'm going to head back to uh, the restaurant. And if Milky's at the restaurant, I'm going to let him know that him and Dresic have been given a mission to go find a dragon slash dragonborn. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, say, uh, well, no, uh, we kind of run that with uh, Dresic being at the house. Uh, they're currently not at the... Uh, uh, actually, you know what? They were, they've were they been gathering stuff and getting ready to go steal the statue, so they can still be at the uh, deli before leaving all right so i'm uh when are the charles are you at the deli when i arrive uh if we're all still there then yes i walk in milky yes uh Pink. ah so you know how you've been talking about wanting to leave town in search of sacrifices and yes. dragons i have just the task for you and for drizek Yes. So, everybody? Yes? Uh, not everybody. I need to stay here for the restaurant purposes. But the rest of you can go out and be, you guys are being sent. And I'm going to explain that they're being sent to Dragonborn Sanctum and failure uh, due to failure's lack of <laughs> communication with us. And due to a red dragon oh. born uh, stealing cargo, and Dresic might need his help with that issue, but we've also heard rumors that there's dragons nearby there. Which, if there is, Dresic and the meat shields that will be hired to go with them can help him take that dragon down what you mean live bait pretty much pretty much all we need is bait and then we can lay a trap for anything yes uh, I'm gonna do do I see scrim uh, yes uh, every member of the party besides Dresic should be um, it, uh, hello. it's gonna be there do I know you Oh, okay. Uh, do I do I recognize Brandon's characters? I know Kyle. Kyle's our cousin. Brandon, were you going to be related to them? Uh, yeah, I can be. Okay, then uh, you're just one of you're one of the brothers. One of the many family members. One of the extent. <laughs> one of the large fa uh, siblings. Ah, brother. Ah, uh, yes, brother. How's it going? Pretty good. We, we, we are putting our plan into motion to make this city the crown jewel of the Empire. Oh, 
good, good. Uh, Drezik is go probably going to need help if you want to help him, or you can stay here and help me. I'm also going to tell the cousin that he can go with, he can either choose to go with Drezik or he can stay here with me and uh, see to the restaurant. Do you want to do business or do you want to fight? Pretty much. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what I'm asking. Uh, I will go and fight. Okay. Cause that I, is I what I am best at. I do plan on negotiating with the criminals while they're gone. Well, starting to negotiate with the criminals while they're gone. All right. Well, so I pretty much relay everything that I have said to all of them. And then I'm going to go find Darla and... Um, 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 Woody? No. Uh, Ursaj, your sister? No. Why, why do I want? Why do I want to see the racist? Um. Fuck. Fiona. Yeah, Princess Fiona. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to uh, 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 Fiona and Darla and find out about roughly when the restaurant will be open because I've invited the mayor <laughs> and a couple of the. Uh, upper echelon of the town to opening night so that way we can get uh, word of mouth and good reviews of the restaurant out day one and if we don't then I'm going to kill the mayor <laughs> god dang oh, I forgot I was supposed to put grand opening you forget I'm a psychopath Honestly, sometimes I just forget that you guys aren't just chaotic, but you're also evil. Evil. Remember, my character is is a fucking psychopath. <laughs> yeah. But my character is mostly based on a uh, uh, rum dealer from the Peaky Blinders. So. Uh... Wait, is Chatman supposed to? You know what I'm about to fuck all of Huh? Nothing. I'm trying to figure out what chat to put this in. Oh. Uh, Dragon Horde is the one for this particular group. Whoops. Okay, well, I'm going to put in this one. Saturday is for your game now. Not too late. It, it, everyone says Swan Fest and everything. And uh, Horny there. Chat is for Horny, horny Stuff. Horny Chat's Horny Chat. Yeah. Horny Chat horny is Horny Chat. Saturday is now, uh, Saturday Game Chat is now your game. Okay. And but Dragon Horde is this one. So if, if you want it renamed, you can just let me know and I can rename yeah, it. Yeah, I'm good. But uh, because this game actually has it's an actual title. So that's why I use it. <laughs> uh, so uh, whenever you ask Darla and uh, Yorna whenever they're going to be ready, Yorna's like, listen, it's just going to be... Uh, I, I do not tell them about the plan to kill the mayor. Of course not. Uh, Bjorn is just like, well, me and Jax are ready. Uh, we just got to set up a food uh, supply chains, which it's one of those things. It's usually just takes a couple days to, uh, like, I already have existing ones, so it should only take me a couple days to get it, to uh, get them used to moving the food take here instead of to Mudtown, which I'm sure they'll love because no one wants to go through Mudtown. So, would you say next week? Next week would be a safe bet. Three days, I'll be ready. And Darla, sweetie, what about you? Uh. Are Six we stocked or... up on all the wines and the alcohols and the fighters. So, uh, Ersad's also, handling the, uh... Keep this on the download. Drezik will not be here for the fights. Well, uh... So, so it will not be slap fighting. It will be actual fighting. Well, darling, uh... I'm going to have the waitresses all ready to go probably in the next three to five days, depending on how well they train. Uh, 
Ursav was actually going to be your guys' commander, so she was going to be in charge of the beer and the fighting stuff. If All I right. I but, guess uh, I should go I, find Ursad. It's like, I mean, I can talk to her and I can get back to you if you don't want to deal, if you don't want to deal with her, but... Oh, good. I do need to go down to Mudtown anyway and have a conversation. Okay. So she she goes off to find uh, Ursad. Uh, I'm going to ask Kyle and Brandon's characters if they want to come with me to Mudtown. There may be fighting involved. So th this is kind of the choice of... Uh, do you guys want to go... It's like... A, who still remembers that they want to steal the statue? Because we have a bunch of dumb characters. So, <laughs> so which character? Uh, I'll go. With, I think I was busy I'll, writing, I'll, I'll uh, trying Sam. to create the flyer. Huh? Uh, my character will go with Sam. No, Milky was busy writing down and yeah. trying to figure out how to get the You're flyer. You're a paladin, right? Of uh, conquest. Oh, good. <laughs> if there's fighting involved, you definitely need to be there. Uh, what about you, Kyle? Are you going with us or no? Kyle disappeared. What? Uh, his window Where disappeared. Yeah, he just did. Like, literally just, like, right Where's whenever you said Kyle, Kyle he just... <laughs> Kyle! Kyle! Uh, a, a dread Oni! I mean, I was going to talk to Jeff, but I'm like, he's not even here, so it doesn't matter. Dread Oni-chan, are you there? Liz? Brandon, uh, could you see uh, what's wrong with Kyle? Yeah, give me a minute. Okay. You, you go ahead and talk, Liz. Why? Talking? I can't hear you. I can hear Liz. I can finally see Zach. Oh, wait. Okay, so I can see everybody. I wonder if it was just... There was a... Kyle. I mean, it... it <laughs> Maybe, but it also was uh, possible that it was just the amount of people. Maybe. Well, let's see if everyone disappears for me now. Kyle's back. Kyle just came back, but I can see Brandon. I can uh, see Liz. I can hear everybody. So, Kyle, do you want to go with me and uh, Brandon's characters to the most dangerous slash criminalistic part of town? There may be some fighting involved. Or do you want to wait there with those people? I'm By the way, Kyle, if you're talking, I can't hear you. You might be muted. Hello? Hey! Oh, I can hear you now. So do you want to go with me and Brandon to the uh, part of town that's most heavily criminally influenced? Yep, yes, I totally do. Go and there person. might be some fighting involved. Here's to the years, yeah. Alright, so we have a priest and two and two big ass fighting motherfuckers no, headed to the most dangerous criminalistic part of town. Sounds fun. Okay, okay, I am back. Oh. Also, let's not forget, when the priest gets mad, he turns into a stegosaurus. Let's go. And I've actually killed people by stabbing them in the dick with my spiky ass tail. Um, I'm probably gonna head out because I'm really tired. Okay. I I didn't think we were actually gonna be playing too much longer since it is 2 a.m. Well, um, and it took forever for the group thing to start. <laughs> Again, I apologize, guys. <laughs> God damn it! I don't Zach. think it's really your fault. I think it's roll twenty. It might just be roll twenty. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's still, a, but yeah, tech issue, so I mean, I, I know I can't really avoid it, but, uh, yeah, you can I avoid will, it by doing better. I will talk to uh, I, I, some I, I, of you uh, later uh, tonight. <laughs> yep, see you in like we'll, 12 we'll hours. See, we'll see you in like, shit, 12 no, hours? No, Fuck, I'll no, be at it's work. Gonna like, it's gonna be a lot longer than that. Um, see in like 16. 20 hours and the people i don't see there which i think is everyone besides great. me brandon and kyle yeah um I'll see you guys next week Sweet. for uh charles's game yep
Which, by the way, Charles, did you get a chance to look at my character yet or no? Because you haven't sent me anything. Oh, Charles, I had a question for you as well. Hey, Charles, me too. You're, you're muted. Charles is muted. There we go. Hi. Yay. <laughs> Did you get a chance to look at my character yet? You're my super awesome badass. Doing right now. Because <laughs> you never sent me anything. All right, Charles. Now for my question. Yeah. Um, it's cool if you don't want to, but uh, would it be cool if I switched characters? Because I originally made Asmodeus as a one-off character. That's fine. You can totally change your character if you want a more right, cool. like actual character. Yeah, I on whatever <laughs> I whenever we do one-offs, I try to make really crazy, ridiculous characters. Drezik's just an exception to that. Yeah. It's like I, I feel special considering uh, I get the excessive <laughs> over-the-top character through the whole campaign. Yep. Well, my my character's pretty badass. Uh, yeah. So it's looks fine. My uh. Am I even in the am I even in the group? So since Asmodeus is um Asmodeus's daughter, can he just like pull up in a limo and be like, hey, come home now, young lady, and then she goes home? Kind of. You'll cool. see what happens next uh next Saturday. Alright, cool. Uh only thing uh Sam is we're level three. What level did I make myself? Level four. Oh. Yeah, I would stay there. Oh God, Liz! <laughs> I, I agree fuck. with Liz. <laughs> I was loud as fuck out of nowhere. Uh, I've right. just discovered I can only hear three of you. Okay. Oh no! All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Later. Bye. Okay, so that'll have three. Uh, that'll have dragon. Thava and Drach going over here. I'm a little bit sad Ryan left because he, he's in the same general area. Uh, that leaves Milky and Scrim. And uh, you two guys are... Le still at the uh, tavern area. And uh, there's still uh, several people, there's still several of the NPCs around. Uh, Darla seems to be walking around talking to uh, a lot of the waitress staff. Uh, anyone with above uh, 10 intelligence would guess that she's probably the head waitress. Uh, Fiona, Fiona and Jack, uh, which is a small, uh, Fiona is a half elf, half, dr uh, half elf, half orc that's been in the, uh, kitchen most of the time. Where is the tavern? Uh. There we go. Uh, there's also Ursad who is... Uh, Dar uh, Darla and Ursad are talking. Uh, you guys may have overheard uh, Ursad being described as the uh, manager whenever Dresden and Drach aren't around. She's the red dragonborn who thinks she's a shadow dragon. She doesn't exist. Cause she a bitch. Uh, Ursad's. Ursad's this one down here. Darla is this one. A little bit zoomed in so you guys can see a bit more detail. Oh. 
We'll probably save the going to the uh, port for next time we play. Since you guys uh, have a good chance of causing a fight. <laughs> good chance? <laughs> hey, I'm not going to guarantee... Have you, have you heard my mouth? Huh? Uh, uh, if they were talking about leaving and then started talking about this mission and then randomly left, I probably would have followed him. It's like, have you have you heard my mouth? There's probably going to be... There, there's a very good chance there's going to be a fight. Scrim like fight. Scrim will follow too. Okay. Yeah, there's a... It's like, it's like there's a reason I wanted the two biggest Dragonborn people I know that are fighters to go with. Okay, so I guess we'll just end the session here, which it was unfortunately a shorter session, even though we're ending at about the normal time. Uh, but if josh is here uh, next time we play then we'll say that he also like came downstairs as you guys were about to leave yeah this is so bjarna the head chef half orc half elf jack's the uh halfling girlfriend and uh kitchen assistant I'm just going to say, dang it, Woody, just Woody, in charge? huh, is Woody left in charge, Woody is, Jessica has pretty much made Woody a concierge, or whatever it is, <laughs> pretty much if someone comes up to him, he has to give them money, from his money or from yes, from his money. Okay. And yeah, he has uh, to help. Drezik, Drezik kind of scared the piss out of that dude. I tried to stop it. I really did, but it was hilarious, so I did it. Uh, then there are five wait staff, I believe it is. Yes, I believe it was four females, one male. So there's a Marie, who uh, seems to have a like a. A little bit of magic. Uh, every single one of them is a former prostitute. I bought their contracts. Yeah. Because I'm a beast. Uh, Colin, who is a half elf. Down here is a Bethan. Millie and Anna. Uh, and Violet would be definitely be hanging around Ursad. Because that is Ursad's partner. By partner, he means lover. And uh, she is a drow bard. Like, she's always playing a little bit of a song. But uh, that, those and then uh, you you uh, I'm not sure if anyone remembers Pixel, but just the the pixie that's holding a full size great axe. I, I was gonna say I think I might be the only one to have actually met Pixel. Besides Scrim, now. Stretching. Ah. And even then, I tried to get Jurassic to eat him. <laughs> Her. You sure it's a hair? Yes, it's always been a female. I could have sworn it was a dude. Because I just can't do uh, female voices. I have too much of a manly voice. Just talk slightly more airy. Uh, it's okay. We all know you... Yeah. you uh... right. but there's, there's women with non-feminine voices. Yeah. Well, so Pixel is in fact a female pixie. But, uh, 
I'm going to say that we'll go ahead in the session here, and uh, next time, uh, I guess the bulk of the party, if not, like, maybe including Scar, will head to the port area to talk to, talk to some criminal scum, you know? Just talk. Yeah. Well, so, we can't burn the place down if it's near the water. <laughs> True. But we can turn them into our dinner. True. But, uh... Uh, Brennan and Liz, if you guys want to send me any sort of backstory that I can try, uh, I can try to tie that in into the world somewhere. So if you have anything that you want... I literally made this character in like five minutes, so I have to work on the backstory. Well, you have two weeks till the next session, so... And you don't even have to do full backstory. If you just want to send me a couple NPCs that are related to, that are connected to you, I can even just throw them in. Yeah, this game is every two weeks. I'll uh, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I mean, if you don't, that's not a big deal. Just to let you know that your backstory, uh, if you send it, I, I do try to tie it in. Cool, cool. Like I said, I'll have to get to know the character a little bit more before yep. I uh, <laughs> come up with all that shit. Okay. Well, uh, next week, we are going to do the Charles Eve campaign, and we're going to get a special uh, 